Hi there and happy Friday. I'd like to welcome you back to the OBS Financial Educational Series, Learn from the Tax Masters. My name is Stacy Bartell, I'm president of OBS Financial located right here in Oak Bank, Manitoba. As I said, today is Tuesday, Friday, February 22nd. And as I promised yesterday, we're gonna continue going over your pay stubs and making sure that the amounts that are being deducted, if they're deductible, you're claiming them. Before we begin, as the last couple of days, there's one more draw today for tickets to the Adams family here at the Oak Bank United Church. So stick around to the end to find out how to enter for that. In yesterday's edition, we discussed using your pay stub to find deductions for your healthcare premiums. And today, we're gonna look at group benefits, uh, the pensions and group RSP deductions that you may have. First off, what's the difference between a pension and a group RSP? Well, basically the difference is more of a legal definition and if the pension plan has been registered through the Canada Revenue Agency, right? Registered pension plans can either be in a defined benefit or a defined contribution plan. Uh, and there are certain legal restrictions or legislative laws that would determine how much and when you can take out. Group RSPs are normally done by plan sponsors, be it Sun Life, Manulife, other life insurance companies or investment companies where basically you're putting contributions into an RSP that's run by a group uh, off of every paycheck. Now, let's talk about pensions. Pensions, uh, again, normally offered by large employers. They will be identified on your pay stub as being a pension contribution. The amount that you pay every two weeks from January 1st to December 31st will be reported on your T4. Now, that's different from group RSPs, and we'll talk about that later. But remember, that the reporting period for your pension deductions are January 1st to December 31st of each fiscal year. The amounts that you get deducted off your paychecks are reported on box 20 of your T4s. Another part part that will be recorded on box 52 of your T4s is going to is basically your total pension amount. So the amount that were deducted for your registered pension plan is deductible for you. It's amounts you paid. It's deducted on line 207 of your tax return. In box 52, which is your total pension contributions, that amount is what was deducted in total for you. So that's the amount you put in, the amount your employer put in, matched together, combined in one area. Now, as much as it gets reported on your tax return, you, you're not able to deduct the whole amount. The reason why we have to report on your tax return is it's to determine how much room you will have to purchase additional RSPs in order to supplement your retirement package. Okay, uh, group RSPs typically issued by smaller companies, companies that can't afford to have it registered, don't worry about the actuaries and everything else that's involved with pension plans. Uh, but yet it's for smaller companies that wanna make sure that their employees are able to look after their retirement. Group RSPs allow employees to have amounts deducted directly from their paychecks and invested with a group sponsor. In many cases, after two or more years of employment, the employers will offer to add, supplement, or even match the amount of your contributions up to a certain percentage of your income to go towards those group RSPs. Now, depending on the plan, the employers may or may not have access to the amounts while they're employed and may only be able to access those group RSPs when they retire or discontinue employment. For tax purposes though, these amounts are deductible as follows. The group sponsor will mail out, mail out RSP receipts at the end of the year and those receipts will report the amounts that you contributed from March 2nd or the 61st day of the year to December 31st of the year. Sim because this is an RSP product, any contributions made in the first 60 days, so for example in 2019, any amounts contributed between January 1st and March 1st, which is a Friday, are deductible and must be claimed on your 2018 tax return. So those receipts that you get in the first couple of months, those are very, very important on your tax return. You cannot save those to claim them in 2019 next year. They have to be claimed on the 2018 tax return. Now, if you don't want to use them, as with all RSP contributions, you can choose to carry them over, but they do need to be reported on last year's tax return. So any money that you have taken off of your paychecks, you'll be issued an RSP receipt or RSP receipts depending on the period of when you contributed. The amounts that your employer contributes, 
you'll also receive RSP contribution receipts for. Now, in some cases, they'll be combined with your contributions and you'll receive one receipt for the period of March 2nd to December 31st. In other cases, the receipt may be separate from your receipt, which means you'll receive two from March 2nd to December 31st, and then two for the first 60 days of the current year, which again must be reported last year. So those amounts are also deductible by you, even though you didn't pay for them, but what you need to understand is when you look at your T4 and you look at your pay stubs, you'll see that they would have been added to your total income for the year, which appears in box 14 of your tax of your T4. So they may be reported as a box 40, an other contribution or another taxable benefit, uh, or they may have just been added directly to your pay. However, basically what happens with the employer's contributions is they give you that amount of money, it gets added to your pay, and then you get to deduct it on line 207 or 206 of your tax return, I believe. You get to deduct it off line 206 of your tax return as far as your regular RSP contributions. Now, just in closing here, it's important to understand that group RSPs and pension plan deductions normally don't have the same effect as if you come and see a financial advisor like us or your bank or some other institution and make additional RSP contributions. When your employer takes deductions off your paycheck for group RSPs or for pensions, they know that that money is not taxable. So in order to give you more money off of every paycheck, they give you that money before they calculate your withholding taxes. So basically what ends up happening is you get more money on your paycheck every two weeks instead of waiting for it till the following April to get it back. A little bit disappointing at tax time when you come to see me because I'm not able to give you the, the extra money back on your tax return, but you've had that spending power throughout the year. So it is different compared to RSPs in that situation. Anyways, I hope that I was able to explain a little bit about pensions and group RSPs. Uh, thanks for tuning in. As it is Friday, we won't be back with you until Monday. And our next episode, we're going to discuss some of the last deductions you'll find off your paychecks, union dues, charitable donations, and other deductions from your T4, whether they're taxable or not. In closing, I've got one more draw, another pair of tickets for the performance tonight for the Adams Family, uh, presented by the Space in the Springfield Theatre Company. In order to enter the draw, follow us on Facebook or go to our YouTube channel or follow us on our YouTube channel. Uh, for each follow that you receive today on either report, you'll be entered in for a random draw. The entry deadline is at 2 o'clock this afternoon, Central Standard Time. The winner will be notified by a private message by 3 o'clock as the show is tonight. I want to thank you guys all for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you next week and have a great weekend.